in summer, the Ganges cut the long grass on the line side, breaking it into heaps to dry in the sun. At this time of year, Percy stops where they have been cutting. Good morning! The men load up his empty wagons and he pulls them to the station. Thank you! <laughs> Toby then takes them to the hills for the farmers to feed their stock. Thomas, it's only me. Ugly indeed. I'm. Uh, no, I don't. It's the hay, Green caterpillar indeed! Fumed Percy. He set off to collect some hay to take to the harbour. Everyone says I'm handsome. Or at least nearly everyone. Anyway, my curves are better than Thomas's corners. Thomas says I'm always late. I'm never late. Or at least, maybe a few minutes. What's that to Thomas? He could always catch up time further on. All the same, he and his driver decided to start home early. Then came trouble. Oh no. Ooh. A crate of treacle was upset all over Percy. Percy was cross. He was still sticky when he puffed away. <laughs> the wind was blowing fiercely. Look at that! Explained the driver. The wind caught the piled hay, tossing it up and over the track. The line climbed here. Take a run at it, Percy. Percy gathered speed, but the hay made the rail slippery and his wheels wouldn't grip. Time after time, he stalled with spinning wheels and had to wait till the line ahead was clear before he could start again. Oh, now, this is just perfect. Everyone was waiting. Thomas seemed impatiently. Then, they all saw Percy. They laughed and shouted. Sorry I'm late. What's wrong? I wonder why everyone was laughing. When Percy got home, his driver showed him what he looks like in a mirror. Plus my buffers! No wonder they all laughed. I look just like a woolly bear. Please clean me before Toby comes. Instead of talking about sensible things like playing ghosts, Thomas and Toby made jokes about woolly bear caterpillars and other creatures which crawl about in hay. They laughed a lot. But Percy thought they were really being very silly indeed. <sighs> Why is it always me? 